Occupational health is about protecting individuals from problems that may arise at work which could influence their health. An occupational health department is there to provide that sort of advice to individuals. This is to avoid an individual coming to harm themselves, may even help save their lives. It is also to enable them to realize the problems of other people at work and the risks that may be attached to that. So that in terms of being a junior doctor, you are thinking about your own health, not just the well-being of your own patients. Well, there are a number of important things, not just for today, but for one's entire career. And there are probably at least three areas in which you need to take action to protect yourself and that of your co-workers. First, protection from infection through contact with blood and body fluids. Second, the safe disposal of clinical waste. Third, obtaining help with any work-related health problems such as contact with drugs and chemicals. Proper methods for lifting patients. Blood and in certain circumstances, other body fluids represent a real hazard. It is dangerous as a potential source of hepatitis viruses and HIV. In your career as a doctor, you may well be at risk of skin or mucosal contact with blood or body fluids, including blood splashes into the eye, especially during some surgical procedures. The trouble is, the risk is unpredictable. It is simply not possible to identify all patients who may be infected, even if they are screened. Blood should, therefore, be regarded with great respect, regardless of the suspected risk status of a patient. Precautions need to be taken routinely to prevent skin and mucous membrane contact with blood and other body fluids.